Good day everyone, my name is Juliet, I'm Bali and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much, you did the right thing to stop by, God bless you real good. If this is not your first time, thank you so much, I really appreciate you from the depth of my heart, I am deeply grateful that you come here again and again to watch my videos, to share your thoughts with me and a whole lot more, may God bless you real good. So today, as always, I have another very insightful video to share with you all and this video actually came about as a result of a video that I did some weeks back around the subject of the questions you need to ask each other before you get married. You can scroll through my videos, you see it in you see somewhere there or if I remember I will link it up somewhere or put it in the description box and so either of try either of these means that I've just highlighted so the question the it's okay it came about as a result of that someone asked me a question after watching the video and that's what inspired this video so I'll read the question for you now alright so one of the points that I highlighted in that video was that I'm trying to look at look for the question that's why I'm I'm looking at my phone was that it's important for you to tell each other about your past that is very very important to share your past with each other and so the person now asked this question the person said if a lady did an abortion during her years in school and now she's getting married to a man that doesn't want a lady that has tampered with her body and she's so scared to tell the guy because the relationship will end what can she do about the situation so that's what brought about this whole video that's what inspired this video so the first thing is that like just the same way i mentioned in that video i was still reinstated that it's important that you tell each other everything about your past somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life with has to know where it is that you're coming from up to this point especially those things that may be throbbing in your heart every time you remember them you are always frantic about them you're always scared you don't know how it is that they may perceive it and things and things like that the truth is love does not give room for fear and true love covers all things it is important that before taking that step you let them know about everything let them know about whatever that past is that's the first thing that I would like you to know. Don't, don't say, oh, has what's. Don't, don't be afraid of the consequences of what you're telling them will be. So it is extremely important that you let that person know whatever it is that they need to know from your past. The thing is, you may be scared of losing them. You may say, if you tell them, they may go. It's important that it's better for you to know that. It's better for you to let them know, and for them to make that decision of to either stay or go and the, the real fact is that someone who loves you or the right one for you will not mind whatever it is that you have gone through but will against all odds choose to follow you choose to go through with life go through life with you do you understand so don't be afraid of what it is that they may say or what it is that they may do don't be scared of losing them the reason is because you don't want to build a relationship on the foundation of deceit or lack of trust that's the truth that's one of the worst things you can do for yourself it may, it may seem like you're making the best decision not telling them or hiding it from them but when you eventually get married it may become worse way worse than you imagined so it's a lot better for you to let them know now that they can make that choice to say okay I'm not sure I can and the truth even though I've mentioned that someone who loves you or the right one for you will go with you all the way the truth is, it's just better for them. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad people if they decide not to continue with you. It just means that they are not the right one for you. Do you understand? Going forward, you'll find the person who is right for you and who will accept you for who you are. And also, on your own, it's important that you do not define yourself by your past. The reason why you are probably afraid is because you see yourself as who you want you to be, as who you were. You are looking at yourself as that person who has made those, done those abortions. You are not looking at who you are now in Christ. As long as you have given your life to Christ and you have repented from those past behaviors, don't look at yourself in that light any longer. You are not 
it's not that's not who you are anymore you are now a new creature in christ so begin to see yourself in that light when you see yourself in that light you'll not be afraid of who's going to lose you or who's going to have you and who's going to win you're going to be rest assured that god is going to bring the person who is well suited for you so it's very very important for you to have that in mind and for you to not always be troubled by your scars and be afraid that that's what defines you instead let those scars let that mess become a message for others so that they can learn from it and do that the right things going forward do you understand so i hope that these few points that i have made around the subject inspires you so that you make the right decisions to build your relationship on trust and on um, on the right foundation that's basically that about this video i hope that you have learned a thing or two god bless you real good for watching take good care of yourself until next time bye <laughs>